Today, we're going to learn one of the most important aspects of your activities profiles, which is doing research as a high school student. Now, according to me, there are two types of students. One, that understand the limitations that each school has its boundaries, no matter whether you're studying in India or the US or Canada or Bangladesh, doesn't matter, your school has boundaries. Your school will not be able to provide you everything you need in order to successfully apply to colleges and get that wholesome experience. And the second category of students that accept this fact and then move on to find activities and opportunities outside of school. So my goal through this video is to help you understand and make that transition from becoming that informed students and understanding that your school doesn't have everything and help you find research activities that you can add to your profile because news alert colleges these days are definitely looking for students that have a strong background of academic scientific research skills. And this is not just me saying this. Many Ivy League's top colleges have come out and said that research plays a huge role. University of Pennsylvania recently said that one third of their admitted students had some sort of a research-based profile in their application. And Caltech said that 45% of their admitted students had some research-based activity to showcase. So this just shows that the competition out there is getting so fierce and so difficult and you need to keep up. Now, of course, research helps you get that edge in college applications, but it helps you learn and gain a skill set that is far more valuable than that. The biggest thing is it helps you learn critical thinking skills. How do you systematically solve a problem? If there are certain terms that are involved in scientific research, you learn those too, such as literature survey, creating a hypothesis. You learn the methodology created from start to finish on following through on a project. These skill sets of learning how to do all of these things play a huge role in your career, irrespective of what degree you want to get into. And lastly, they go on to improve your oral and communication skills because most students that do research then move on to doing poster presentations, science fairs, and represent that research in various competition. This helps you get out there definitely out of your comfort zone and talk to other people, improving all of these interpersonal skills as well. Now, while research plays a huge role in differentiating you from the general population that's applying to colleges, it also helps build on your complex technical abilities. So you will gain technical knowledge in the field that you're applying for. But not all research is valuable. Technically, you could write a paper in school, like a lot of these IB schools let you, and many students consider that research. But really, unless it's published research, it doesn't carry the weightage that it should. And publishing research is not an easy thing. It's no joke. Publishing a research means that you're submitting your work to a third-party peer review committee that then goes through what you've done. They decide whether your work is important, significant enough to be published. So it is an extra level of scrutiny, asking questions, making sure you're able to defend those questions, and this entire process can get overwhelming. Now, if you're a high school student, it's difficult for you to learn how to do research, then do the research and also go to school. All of this is just a lot of work. And this is where the Research Bootcamp by Incognito Blueprints is your best opportunity out there. The Research Bootcamp has had four different cohorts so far and has helped close to 500 students work on group-based research. Now, the students were from grades 9 to 12, and that is when you can enroll. You can enroll individually as a student. The Blueprints team then asks for your research interest, and in a short amount of time, they group you in a team of about six students. So imagine you're working with five other individuals from maybe different parts of the world on a research project together. How cool is that? Talk about working as a team, leadership opportunities, and the fact that you can say that you worked in a diversity te diverse team. And all of this to carry out research for a dedicated project, all while learning the skills along the way. It is a structured eight-week program that you can do at the comfort of your home. You don't have to go anywhere. It's completely virtual, all, as long as you have a strong internet connection and maybe a laptop to complete the assignments. Students at the end showcase their projects, the most recent cohort even had their papers published in peer-reviewed journals. So we help students achieve all of this all in a summer-based activity. And lastly, eligible students were able to get individual evaluations that they then attached with their college application in addition to the participation certificates. And very select students, like maybe 5 out of 120, 
got awarded the Young Innovator Award for standing out for doing outstanding work. So there are competition with this, this bootcamp. You get to learn all of the things you have to and also get the opportunity to publish your own research. All of this in one summer and eight weeks of a virtual bootcamp. It really doesn't get better than this. Welcome everyone for the fourth research bootcamp project showcase. I believe we've done like four of these at this point. And honestly, I'm so excited for this one. So the research towards the health is pretty valuable to society because it provides credible analysis about the situation. Now just to summarize some of our key findings. Firstly, stakeholder input and engagement is essential for growth in e-health. So even though all the early methods gave invaluable insights to DNA sequencing, but they used to follow an approach called bulky sequencing. Process used by a computer for diagnosis is very similar to the ones used by doctors, wherein the doctors try to find a particular feature to find out if the image belongs to a one disease or the other. Now, while the research bootcamp is a great opportunity to work in a team-based environment, a more custom and individualized program is the International STEM Research Program. The benefits that this has is it's a little longer, it's about three months long, and you get to work with one other student. And if you're applying before 31st of December, you'll also be eligible to get 50% scholarship. Now, the International STEM Research Program allows you to more specifically uh, tackle a research topic of your interest, and it guarantees a submission to a journal. So this is a more streamlined program where you're looking at publication. Almost 99% of students have published their work through the ISRP, and this is just one year old. So as this program becomes popular, there's definitely going to be a wait list that is set up. Now the ISRP is a much more hands-on and customized opportunity for students. And unlike the research bootcamp that runs only for the summer, the ISRP program runs year round. So you can enroll in the ISRP right now without wasting time. There are tremendous amount of students that have done the ISRP bootcamp multiple times because they just want different research projects that they can work on to showcase in their profile. So this isn't just like a one and done thing. You can do it as many times as you want. There is no end. You will be um, given and brainstorm with your mentor a different research project each time you enroll in the program. Now the ISRP does have an application that you need to fill out and submit. The link to the application is going to be in the description below. Remember, you need to select yes for the financial aid option and put in $2,000 to be eligible for that 50% financial aid, which is only for applications submitted on or before 31st December. So do that quickly and you will be paired with one other student. Not all students get selected. So remember, it is very selective. You do get the entire scholarship letter as well that you can attach to your portfolio when you're applying to colleges. So all of these benefits are definitely key highlights. There are tremendous number of researches that have been done under ISRP, like CRISPR-Cas9 mechanisms, microneedles, uh, 3D bioprinting, working on AI segmentation for waste segregation, or AI and ML methods for image classification towards various skin diseases or MRI um, scans, and continuously more. These are just some that came up to my mind. All right, that's all that I had for this video. If you're watching till this point, smash the like button. Let me know if you have any questions for the bootcamp or the ISRP program, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.